Hey, this is Doug with B&H. Today, Sony has announced a new camera that is sure to turn some heads. Introducing the Sony FR7, the world's first full-frame interchangeable lens PTZ camera. The FR7 marries the image quality and flexibility of digital cinema cameras with the speed and automation of PTZ cameras. The result is a combination of features you can't find anywhere else. You get a full-frame interchangeable lens digital cinema camera with PoE++ support, IP controls, and presets for up to 100 positions. But you also get a PTZ camera with touch tracking autofocus, internal 4K XAVC recording, and external RAW support. The easiest way to describe the FR7 is to call it an FX6 redesigned as a PTZ camera. The FR7 features a full frame sensor capable of 15 plus stops of dynamic range, an electronic variable ND filter, and dual base ISO at 800 for normal environments, and a staggering 12,800 for enhanced low light sensitivity. The camera is also capable of recording DCI 4K up to 60p and UHD 4K up to 120p to CF Express Type A or SD cards. It even has external RAW support over SDI. Internal recording is somewhat uncommon among PTZ cameras, but the fact that the FR7 mirrors the FX6 recording modes and media options is incredibly refreshing from a data management perspective. This means you can integrate an FR7 on a shoot with an FX6 or an FX3 and maintain a consistent workflow across all cameras. The FR7 is compatible with many E-mount lenses. However, there are a few limitations, most notably with size and weight. It kind of makes sense here. Here's a list of the lenses that Sony recommends for this camera. Keep in mind that this does not mean that these are the only lenses that will work. In an interesting bit of cinema influence, the FR7 has a sliding mechanism and 15mm rod lens support to accommodate lenses of varying sizes and weights. Another limitation to consider though is the zoom control. The camera can only perform an optical zoom with lenses that feature a built-in zoom motor. Sony labels these lenses of course as PZ or power zoom lenses, and currently they only offer two PZ lenses with full frame coverage. The FE PZ 28 to 135 mm F4 G OSS and the FE PZ 16 to 35 mm F4 G lens. Lenses that don't have zoom motors can still take advantage of Sony's clear image zoom though. The FR7 also features Sony's touch tracking and eye detect autofocus. Now, you might be wondering, how exactly does touch tracking autofocus work on a PTZ camera, given that the camera doesn't have a touch screen? Well, the feature is integrated into their redesigned web interface. The interface allows you to use a tablet to control the camera through a web browser and has access to all the menu options and controls you typically find on a camera's built-in screen. And don't worry, if you prefer a traditional computer instead of a tablet, the web interface is accessible on desktops and laptops via web browsers. The FR7 easily integrates into existing Sony PTZ setups. The camera utilizes Sony's Visca over IP protocol, enabling compatibility with existing RM IP500 controllers. Current owners of the RM IP500 controller can expect a firmware update to support the FR7 camera. So on the back of the FR7, you can see where it blends the needs of digital cinema and PTZ cameras together. You'll notice it has 4K 60p HDMI and 12G SDI outputs, as well as timecode in and genlock for synchronization with additional cameras. It also features a stereo five pin XLR audio input. On the PTZ integration side, it features RS-422 for Visca controls and an ethernet port with PoE++ support. For those unfamiliar with PoE++, this means that the camera can accept power over an ethernet cable, making it convenient for integrators, as it opens up the possibility of sending power, control, and video signal across a single cable. Like most PTZ cameras these days, the FR7 is also capable of streaming. The camera supports SRT and RTSP streaming out of the box and can be upgraded to utilize NDI-HX via an optional firmware upgrade. So PTZ cameras truly have come a long way over the past few years. In the beginning, PTZ cameras were repurposed security cameras favored for their ability to be permanently mounted and tolerated, despite their low image quality and clunky controls, of course. Today, PTZs have grown into full-on automated replacements for traditional cameras. It's pretty crazy that this thing has a full-frame sensor. It's fairly common to see PTZ cameras on tripods instead of ceilings now, and you can see them used extensively in studio configurations. They're also popular for concerts, conferences, and houses of worship. The FR7 is an intriguing step forward for the world of PTZ cameras and opens a whole new world of automated possibilities for the digital cinema world. 
So, what are your thoughts on the FR7? Are you interested in upgrading your PTZ setup? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Doug with B&H, and I'll see you next time.